Hey, hey everyone, it's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. And if this is your first visit here, welcome. I'm excited to share with you my daily planner and I may be changing it to just the journal portion of my planner. Anyways, we're gonna be working on the week of 12224. Let me introduce you to the parts or what's left of them. We're gonna be using, sh I'm reading from Megan Renee Plans. I believe this is, Planet Hannah, and I think it's just called Books. We're going to be using Mojo's Spring 2.0 book. Her color matched almost perfectly with what I was looking for. So we're going to pop in and get started. Now, I do work on these, what I call shopping carts, mostly because this whole layout design is really new for me. And I need to play with it and get it down, and I'm getting really close to doing that, but I'm probably still going to use those shopping carts. Um, this Most of the stickers I use are not from Happy Planner, and I need to be able to lift them, move them, put them wherever I want. And so, um, and, I, and the shopping carts allow me to do just that. So we're just going to wipe this out, and this might show a little bit, so we're going to get rid of it. And then, um, yeah. Okay, so I always put the month on the left side. So I am, th this sticker is from, oops, puppies barking, hang on. Okay, so these are from Mojo's Dated 2.0 book. I love that in that book we have three fonts. Um, and they're not the same as the first two. So essentially I have five fonts. I also like that um, there is in the 2.0 book, there is, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, abbreviations, which really work well for me in this application. Now that looks crooked, but that U has kind of got a tip on it. I'm pretty sure I'm where I need to be. So we will just keep going here. Um, this is a vertical lined planner, so um, I am converting it to a daily use. So each column will give me something different. This is not straight. Um, on this column here, this first column, the deco column, if you're pretty much not dead on you are going to have problems all the way down and that's kind of why i'm trying to fix this here um there we go that's much better um these two columns are where i uh journal for the day this column is where i do my hourly for the day and then this is mostly deco and a little bit of stuff that I want to remember for posterity, I guess. Okay, oops, got that on a little bit crooked. Let's see if we can fix that. And I do like the foil. It does really make the pictures, the, pa the pages jump. Um, this is a sticker from Megan Renee, and I did shorten it a bit to fit um, to fit uh, all the stickers on this side. Um, you will see that I really try hard to finish within um, the boundary here. I don't really want to go past that. And um, sometimes I have to shorten the Happy Planner length sticker uh, vertical box, I guess, length sticker, because um, it just doesn't fit. And in this case, that one fit was perfectly adaptable to being shortened. Um, the other thing is when you're doing something like this, um, this column is an inch and a half. This one is bigger. And the stickers are an inch and a half. So I'm using the dot 
on the far side to kind of give me evenness that's how far I'm staying away I do like it right on the line um, but sometimes I I like to change it up and this I guess I chose to change it up so then I'm just going to keep following here trying to keep my sticker right on the line now this is a happy planner sticker excuse me it's not either this is a mojo spring sticker look at how almost perfect that color matches i am in love with that i thought it would be a very hard color match um it came out of the spring 2.0 sticker okay i do struggle sometimes to get the foil on straight because um i can't always it, you can't see through it so you don't always know what's going on so then this sticker here will give me, uh, if I push it up to the end, I see no foil. So I'm just going to push it up a little bit and I'm going to live with the fact that it goes just a hair bit long. And I think that deco side is done. So now we're going to start the hourly side. And the first thing I'm going to do is run washing. Now I'm even thinking kind of about two rows of this washi so I'm going to put the first one on and see if I like it it's going to be a little bit low so that's why I'm thinking it needs either needs two or to put one high and just let it be um, I think we'll try to do it oh that's crooked I was just thinking if I did right above that first punch and kind of just put it there I want to have the most amount of um, digital um, journaling space I can so that's why I went up that high um, I don't like the gray box that is in the lined vertical so I covered it with paper and you know what? I think I'm only going to do the one row. That'll give me a couple more lines to write on. So we'll go ahead now and begin the other portions. Now this is the full size washi. You can see why I cut it so that it would fit and give me the full space down here. And what I like to do is just line this up with one side or the other. And that way I know I'm one, I'm getting it on square, and two, it falls right into place. Okay, so then I have a deco box, which again, I just line it right up with that side. I do overlap the foil just a smidge, just in case for some reason the foil doesn't quite cut correctly. And yeah okay so this is a Friday I don't work on Friday so this is left for me to put in the things that I did also um, oh I need a book where are my book stickers I think are they in here now these books I'm sure are few and far between if you can even see them those look like cards rather than a book and I think what I'm calling a book is probably a planner. But again, I don't have a lot to choose from. So I think I want to see what it looks like. Because I just started adding these. And I want to make sure I can see some of that foil. This is for my exercise of the day and my wor word of the day. Like... Um, encouraging word of the day like you got this or it's smile or um how i forget what i figured out what they were all going to be and there we go now do i really need this book i don't think so i don't think so so i'm going to put it back and then when i journal if i want a book i have a book available Okay, so we'll put this shopping cart off to the side, and now we'll do the other side. Now these two pieces face each other, 
Um, in the videos I've been doing, I kind of been picking one um, to share with you. And then at the end, I am... Uh, at the end of the video, I'm flipping through all seven days so that you can see all of them put together. Now, that's not to say that they don't have a theme. They do. My sister's birthday was the 24th or will be the 24th and she loves Alice in Wonderland. So I picked a kit for Alice in Wonderland for her for the first four days of this week. And then I, um, my daughter is a book nerd, and so I picked books because her birthday is the 31st. So um, I, that's why we have books for this theme, and I have three days of books. So I want to share with you the theme for the two, for the seven days. Okay, and you can see once you get a rhythm here, it does go together pretty quickly, especially when you follow the line. They have, the stickers just fall into place perfectly. Now this is going to be a little bit shorter than the other side. Does it bug me? Honestly, I'm not sure yet. But it is what it is. And I do have a little bit more of the book stickers if I want to put a piece down there. Now I'm kind of leaving this when this happens. Oh, I could put that book over here, couldn't I? Put some more foil and put a book on it. I might do that. Um, so, but I'm also tending to leave this because maybe there's something else I want to record. And so, um, I'm, I'm, I, Although I will say I have been filling it in with um, little icon type stickers. Okay, so we're just going to try to get this on straight. The nice thing about washi is it does lift without too much, almost no destruction, right? Now does that look square? I think it's okay. Okay, so we'll just tear off this side. There we go. And we'll tear off this side. So these were one week pages and I am converting them to one day pages. And yes, Happy Planner has a daily. Way too much stuff going on on that page for me. Plus, I had a lot of planners sitting on my shelf that were just saying, when are you going to use me? When are you going to use me? And I just decided that this was the year to use them. They are outdated, and so this works really well when you're converting to a... Um, from a weekly to a daily. It gives me everything I need, four columns on each side, and I can uh, fill in the parts I want. Now, do I have to have a lines for my journal? No, I do not. And um, that is okay with me because in my journal for 2023 actually it was an 18 month journal um in my journal it was a vertical that was not lined and i actually like it because if i want to write bigger or smaller if i want to add some punch to it the unlined vertical is so much easier to do those things with and you will see me using verticals for this sometimes. All right, so let me show you. These are the two pages side by side. I'm going to zoom you in just a bit now so that we can see the whole seven pages as the dailies were intended. Okay, so this is going to start off for this week 
with my dashboard planner, which is all about the house planner. So everything I have to do around my house, my chores, my garden, my car, all those things go in this planner this day, all about the house. This is a teacher planner, which is my all about me planner. So this is very different also. And then we go right into my dailies. This was the 22nd, um, 23rd. These stickers are from a shop that is closed. It's called Simply a Mess. 24 birthday and I'm gonna I'm looking for a, a sticker that says birthday how many stickers do we have that say birthday and the only ones I can find say celebrate so but I wanted to say birthday so that's going to go there when I find it um, and then 25 again this is my Alice in Wonderland theme you can see where I added the little icons at the bottom of the page then this is the two page spread I just shared with you for my book lover girl Oh, those are really crooked. It's really hard to work with that foil. Once you put it down, you're pretty much stuck. So it's just going to be crooked. And then this is my last page for my book nerd. Um, and you can see I used the book here. And uh, I'm not quite all the way to the bottom, but I think I'm going to leave it. And that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you hit like or subscribe. Say hi. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.